This series of short video clips gives information on the Ultralight Flyer's recommendation for aircraft that we have flown, owned and or built, which were produced in the early 1980s. All of these aircraft still have manufacturers producing parts, for their repair and continued airworthiness. In this segment we will take a quick look at the Quicksilver MX. The Quicksilver MX entered the market in the early 1980s, it was originally designed by Jack Hutchinson for Iper aircraft as a single place weight shift control ultralight. The Quicksilver MX is a high-wing, tri-cycle gear, two-axis control aircraft in a pusher configuration. It was the first ultralight to be mass-marketed and mass-produced. The bolt-together assembly kit required no manufacturing of parts by the builder, all fabrication was done at the factory. The kit took between 60 and 80 hours to assemble, using common hand tools, and could be built in as little as a one-car garage. The Quicksilver was the first ultralight kit on the market to come with a very comprehensive assembly manual, with all of the AN bolts and anodized tubing clearly marked and supplied on shrink-wrapped packaging boards. Originally power was supplied by the Cayuna 440 engine but this power plant was later updated to the Rotax 377 and then Rotax 447 engine. The Quicksilver MX uses stick and rudder two-axis controls, with the stick connected to the elevator and rudder. The rudder pedals are connected to spoilerons on top of the wing. The craft uses a right-hand stick and left-hand throttle. One of the unique features of the Quicksilver MX is that the pilot can deploy both spoilerons at the same time by depressing the rudder pedals, this kills the lift on the wings and allows the aircraft to get into very short runways. At the time of production the Quicksilver MX was the market leader for ultralight aircraft, and the Quicksilver line of aircraft still leads the world in ultralight aircraft style kits today. The Quicksilver MX is one of the safest, most fun flying ultralight aircraft I have ever flown, and I highly recommend it. The ultralight flyer rates the Quicksilver MX, A+, when powered by a Rotax engine, with good fabric, an airworthy propeller and a low-time engine. Estimated resale value in the year 2020 is $3,500 to $5,000 for a used not abused MX. If considering purchasing a used Quicksilver MX it is the ultralight flyer's recommendation that the plane's fabric be tested and the wires, landing gear and reduction drive be thoroughly inspected. For a troubleshooting report on the MX, visit www.ultralightnews.com. If the history of the engine is unknown it is recommended that the exhaust be removed and the pistons inspected for wear and seizure. At the time of production of this video the ultralight flyer would estimate the value of a used not abused Quicksilver MX is $3,500 to $5,000.